and gentlemen, and to the voters of Pongo East. Thank you all for coming to the Workers' Party rally, especially at this wet weather. We should be fine as long as there's no lightning breeze. <laughs> <laughs> that you have come personally to look at us and to listen to what we have to say rather than taking what is fed to you by the media or speculations online. For the residents of Pongo East, the Workers' Party would like to thank you for your support at the 2011 general election. Despite a three corner fight, many of you gave your support to our candidate. That is also Lili Lian. Yeah. And we hope that good results. We are here again to offer you a choice. Yeah. 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 The PAP has taken you for granted for far too long. Singapore is in its current state because the PAP did not think far enough and they did not put themselves in the shoes of the people enough. As reported in one part before nomination day, the PAP candidate Dr. Ko said he could well join the opposition and make the same noise, but that would not be effective. <laughs> So, what change to the attitude of the PAP? Can you expect by putting one more PAP MP into parliament? No! No! no. One concrete example is Congo East. I was assigned to visit some blocks by the party to help our candidate Lili Lin. I see a lot of facilities for residents committee to organize activities and every cluster of blocks has an ROC center. It seems to me that the ROC has become so important that it is even built into the design of the HDB town. Very convenient for the PAP to serve you to the RSC. How about facilities that you need most? Coffee shops, convenience stores, etc. Your need and convenience in daily life is not on the mind of the government in the design of the estate. Your need has obviously been neglected. I'm sure the residents of Pongo East must have feedback to their ROCs or to their MPs about the inconvenience. But what is the result? The Pongo East estate has been part of Kasui's Pongo TRT for a long time, until G2011, when it was carved out to become an SMT in G2011. And the voters decided to return the BAP candidate. <coughs> Think again, since two years ago, has any real effort been made to improve the Pongo East estate? Many of you have been faithfully supporting the PAP all these years. What have the PAP offered you? In fact, not only did the convenience of Pongo East not improve by much, renovation works to the Riverville Plaza, the only marketplace in this town is allowed to be delayed. It is time you ask yourself whether the, the PAP appreciates your support or do you want to send a message to the PAP government that you don't want your support to be taken for granted anymore. Elections are the best way to safeguard your rights and interests and to make the government work for you. After the 
the PAP has obviously worked harder. Let us make sure that after this by-election and the next general election, they will work as if their lives depended on you. Now, let's bring the spotlight back to Lily. How can she take care of Congolese if she's elected? From what I know her, I believe she will be totally immersed in the lives of the people of Congo East. Drawing from our experience, she will have no problem running the town council. Your issue will be championed and escalated when the need arises. This is how the workers' parties work. We want to resolve the issue on the ground for the benefit of the people, but if we are not able to resolve it, we are bringing up in Parliament. One such example is the problem of region and Buddha Reservoir, which is in my division in Arjuni GRC. The region infestation problem existed before I was elected. I thought something would have been done for a long time, for a long-term solution. But to my surprise, similar problems recur. And I found out there was obviously no long-term solution in sight. Then, I brought the issue out in Parliament and the government outlined what they are and what they do. This year, the situation has improved, but not completely solved. Since then, PUB and NEA have put in much effort in managing the problem with the town council and engaging the residents who are affected. The Workers' Party doesn't aim to bring bad relationships with the government agencies. We want to be able to make Singapore a better place to live in, regardless of political affiliation. We are able to competently run the town council to the best benefit of the residents. The Workers' Party has been running town council in Aukam SMC for years against all of We work with Aukam residents and relevant government agencies during the SARS period and to fight Yankee people out there. So if Lillian is elected, you do not need to worry about managing your estate. The Workers Party is a rational and responsible party. We do not only position ourselves in the way to gain your support. We do what we say and believe in what we say. It is my belief that it is in the interest of Singapore to have a credible party which is reasonable, reasonable and responsible to check on the government, to keep the government on its toes and to make them responsive to the needs of the people in a responsible way. I will explain more of this at our subsequent battles. So, do remember why you should vote for Lillian. One, because your support for PAP has not been appreciated. Two, Lillian is a credible and competent member of the Workers' Party. So come and take the January. Work the party.